Hey, what's up guys? So I'm on my way to my buddy Justin's house. Uh, we're gonna put a blow off valve on his 2002 WRX. Make those good sounds. So once I get there, we'll catch back up with you guys. Alright guys, so just a tip, if you're going to meet up with somebody, make sure that you both know where you're meeting at. I ended up at Justin's house and he ended up at my house. So now I'm on my way back to my house so that we can get this blow off valve installed. I'll catch up to you guys when I get back. Alright, the first thing we're going to do is take off the two 12mm bolts that hold off the recirculating valve to the intercooler. Make sure to hold on to the gasket so you don't lose that down under the intake because that might be a pain to get out. You might have to take the whole intercooler off to get to it. Then you're going to disconnect the hose that's connected to the bottom of the valve and then it should just pop off. Ta -da. It's done. We had to swap out the port on the blow off valve because it was on the wrong way. Next step is we install it in reverse order, reconnect the hose to the bottom of the blow off valve. Then you put the two 12mm bolts back in and you should be done. Don't forget to put in the gasket. Alright guys, so that's how you install a blow off valve on a WRX. Hopefully we could get some sound clips for you pretty soon. The car wasn't tuned at the time, so we weren't able to really get on it very much. But hopefully now we'll be able to get you some sound clips pretty soon. And hopefully by next week I'll be able to get the tuning video for my WRX out. I know I've been slacking on that. Been kind of busy. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe. I'll be putting out a lot more content. Uh, I got some work to do on the Jeep this weekend, so we'll be doing and some Jeep content. All right, guys, have a good one. You got it. You got it.